Together with our different intentions, we now begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to build the comfort of God, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Gracious and grand your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in the purity of intent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, the savage wolves will come among you and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonish each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can be build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they drew their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power. The power, O God, with which you took up our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the king bring you gifts. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You 
kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God. Chant, chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, <coughs> his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Say <coughs> God, Thank you. O kingdoms of the earth. O, 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 o Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Also, in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may have a share. My joy complete. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them out of the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me in, into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. May they be one, just as we are one. This was Jesus' prayer as he prepared to go back to the Father, praying for his own followers as he was commissioning them into the world to witness to that communion of love. What unites the Trinity, that's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, is the bond of, you, of love among them. And it is this very bond of love that should unite us to God and unite us to one another in our own efforts to perpetuate the mission of love that Christ began here on earth. Unity is something that's very fundamental in any human health relationship. This is what Paul prayed for before his departure, addressing the elders of the church of Ephesus with a call to watch over the flock entrusted to them. He prayed that they be united with Christ, the chief shepherd, and the people that they were to minister to. 
Paul warns them of some potential enemies that may come not only from outside, but from within them. Yes, we know for sure as believers that at times we are enemies of our own faith. It's not so much the non-believers who attack our faith. It's not so much the non-believers who destroy our Christian communities. At times, we are enemies to our own selves. And Paul, however, aware of the dangers of disunity, through prayer, he commends the presbyters to God to build through God's word the community of believers. Jesus in the gospel points to the power behind unity of his followers, the unifying power of the Holy Spirit that consecrates his own followers to him as the truth to lead them to the Trinitarian God. The readings therefore remind us of our connection to the inner life of the Trinity. Paul, for instance, in the first reading, in praying before his departure, reminds us of how prayer is a powerful tool to connect us to God. This is evidenced by Christ himself in his prayer to the Father when he prayed consecrating his own followers to the truth. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, on this sixth day of our Pentecost Novena, as we reflect on the spirit of unity and how unity is a very powerful weapon to make us realize our different projects, we pray that in the variety of people, manipulation multiplicity of ministries and the diversity of charisms through the power of the Holy Spirit, the church as the people of God may experience the bond of unity and love that makes or identifies who the Trinity is. For bishops and priests, may the Holy Spirit enlighten their minds and hearts in leading the church closer to the heart of Christ. We pray to the Lord. O Lord hear For leaders of nations, may the Lord guide them in any acting laws that prom promote the dignity of every person. We pray to the Lord. O Lord hear for all who are in need of healing or reconciliation, may God pour out his grace upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord for this uh, community present today, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide us in the ways of truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died in the light of faith, members of our parish community, members of our individual families, especially those we are praying for during this season of Easter, whose names we have inscribed on mass memorial envelopes. May the mercy of our loving Lord usher them into the fullness of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. We now take a moment to offer those prayers that lie in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask for this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable. God Almighty Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the grace and glory of your name, for the glory of the Lord instituted by your commands, and through these sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he appeared plainly to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers of his divinity. They are overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angels all sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, So that they may become to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks from it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us want to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. And mass on us all we pray them. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him. O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. God's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessing of and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace. I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other the sign of the cross. Lamb of God. Before the Lamb of God, before the evil takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who call to the sake of the Lamb. Body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, amen. The body of Christ, amen. The body of Christ, amen. The body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. Let us pray. May our partaking of the divine sacrament, O oh Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, 
earth and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the mass is ended. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And enjoy the rest of the day. St. Michael, the